industry that um, Christian Community Healthcare Clinic is just offering so much to so many people. The clinic has helped us just for the fact that I'm a single mom and it's I work till five o'clock so by the time we get off work and get home there's not a lot of time to go to the doctor so this helps us. To the left and then into room four on the right. What attracted me to um, this Christian center um, is I've always grown up in a Christian home so it's very important to me for the friendly Christian atmosphere for not just me, but for my kids as well. Hey, it's time to go see the doctor. You ready? He's not gonna give you a shot today. No shots, I got all kinds of cool tools you can play with. I just appreciate how um, we are able to witness to patients here in this clinical setting, um, which hasn't been my experience in any of the, the jobs that I've been in or even in any of the other places I volunteered. It took a little bit. Yes. Like, like six, maybe about six to, yeah. six to 12 weeks, but I, I feel a lot better. I would have to say as a physician, this is how I would picture a pra the perfect practice if, if, if I could have one. Um, when I asked about being a physician here, uh, the way they explained it to me, it was not only going to be about medical care, but to try to help these people in any way that we could spiritually or any support that we could give them. Father, we pray that each of us will be tools. The chaplains, uh, they volunteer, they come in each night that the clinic's open. We offer to pray with them, we offer to talk with them, and hopefully we're able to facilitate some spiritual healing if needed, and if uh, the people are receptive to that, we're here to, to talk to them and uh, to introduce them and show them the love of Christ. And these are the type of people that um, I think I was put here to take care of. I, I often go home to my wife and children and I, and I just say, that's what medicine's all about. Because it's not just about prescribing drugs or uh, you know, moving people in and out of a, a department. It's about sitting down with them, looking them in the eye, and, and, uh, and really caring and knowing that they're cared for. It's also uh, offering up other um, assistance that we can spiritually, um, you know, it's just caring, you know, it's really just to, just to care for them on every level. And uh, I feel blessed to be able to work here. I come here because I actually got referred by a customer of mine that told me to come here um, because I don't have health insurance. I mean, they, they really care. They're donating their time to come in here and to help other people. You know, you're basically helping those that, you know, can't help themselves. And that's something that God definitely wants us to do and and um, that's that's what these guys are doing here. Uh, I volunteer at this clinic um, because I think it's very important to give back to the community and I think this is a very important uh, ministry for this community. I volunteer here because I really really like people. I'm retired and I want to do something for the community and I really enjoy coming here to volunteer. A couple weeks ago I had a patient come back to the clinic and um, I was kind of distracted and I was opening up the door and he was waiting for me to recognize him and I looked up and he smiled and he said, do you recognize me? And I said, I do and he said, the clinic saved my life. He had been here and had a abdominal mass and high fevers and was really feeling bad. So Dr. Chupin talked directly to a hospitalist. and. We admitted this patient. I talked to him and I said, well, the Lord must have a plan for you. And he said, I'm sure that he does. And since then he had quit smoking, lost a lot of weight. And I could just tell a difference about his demeanor that, um, that the Lord was at work in him. That's why we're here. We wanna, we wanna talk about Jesus and we wanna share the love and share the gospel with people.